Hello, it has occurred to me while I have been putting together the instructions for journal number one that you might want a little more guidance. So I'm going to make this video here. So I'm going to pull up these directions and move up to the top. So here, if you have not done one of these assignments before, this is just part of the writing process. Um, here it's going to be a way for you to start thinking about what year you want to do and to start articulating some ideas about why it is you want to focus on that year this semester. So it's, um, it's a, just a journal assignment within Blackboard. It'll be on the landing page when you get there. It'll be due by 11.59 p.m. tonight, Friday, January 9th, and it is 150 words minimum. So you can upload it as an attachment, a Word or a PDF attachment, or you can copy and paste it into Blackboard. I would not compose directly into Blackboard because it will decide to mess you up or the wireless will go out or something dreadful like that. So the goal of this assignment is you are going to submit your top three years. So remember, you can't, more than one person can't have the same year. So figure out what your number one choice is and then figure out some backups. So let's say your number one choice is 1975. Well, if you really like that kind of era, you could always pick like 74, 76 as backups, and then you'll be close to your intended time period. So what you need to do is you need to name the years and then you need to explain why you would like to work with each year. So my one stipulation here is I don't want you to say that you want to work on this year because um, Brad Pitt was born in this year or somebody else was born in that year because it's not necessarily the year that people are born that's hugely important. It's um, what they do in their lives and sometimes, unfortunately, the way that they die. Uh, I'm thinking here, you know, the big assassinations we always talk about with Martin Luther King and JFK, um, knowing when they died is very important because it's a huge event that changes the course of the nation, but knowing when they're born is not, you know, terribly interesting. So anyway, so journals re using the birth dates of celebrities or, you know, anyone well-known or famous, that's, that's just going to re receive zero, so please don't do that. Um, so if you know what year you want, that's awesome. And again, pick some backups. Um, and, and, for, and if you have no idea, the strategies I'm going to go through now will help you also with picking out those reasons why you want to look at that year. So I say if you, if you have no idea what year you want to pick, start out with a decade that you think you might be interested in. And I'm going to use for all my examples here the 1990s because that's off limits to you. So if you enter 1990s into Google, your first hit is Wikipedia, which is actually a really good source for this um, purpose. Why did I do that? These things always happen. Okay, so we're going to go on over to Wikipedia and take a look at what we get for the 1990s. And the reason why this is such a good source is because it'll give you a really broad overview. You can see here just looking at the pictures. There's stuff going on with space, there's some wars, here is the person who was president, President Clinton. For most of the 90s, here's uh, Ix Tucker Bean, so there's Middle East peace. The sheep here is Dolly the Sheep, so there's something about cloning. So World Wide Web, which we used to call the Internet. So you can see that there are lots of different things going on there. Ah, Hubble Space Telescope. So the pictures will give you a good overview, and then over here with the text, it'll give a nice broad description. Now... Another good search would be looking at um, history at about.com. So I'm going to go to that one next. And this, this does the same thing as Wikipedia. Basically, you're going to get a little breakdown here of the decades. Again, we, we have President Bill Clinton, his vice president, Speaker of the House behind him. And that's what's uh, going on here. So again, you can just get a kind of broad idea of what... Um, the deal is. You can also, in these websites, go to specific years. Now this can be really kind of mind-numbingly boring. And I'll show you why. I'll click down here on 1990, and what Wikipedia does is that, you know, they don't have a sense of narrative or what's necessarily important in a year when they just list everything in a year. So you go down here and they start listing things January 1st, January 3rd. You may not really care about reading everything on a day-by-day -day basis. So that might not be the very best way to go. In the introduction to the year, they'll give you a little bit of an overview, but don't get dragged down in these kinds of tedious um, lists of years. 
Something else fun you can do is when you go to Google and search for a decade is that you can look at the images. Sometimes the images will give you a, a kind of fun way to look at, well, what were the fads like? What were the fashions? What was popular? Oh, I didn't know that this, I don't know, TV show is associated with this decade or something like that. So you can just look up here. Bless them. There's the original 90210. So you can see this was TV show. Sadly, I watched throughout my 20s and I sometimes still watch it on reruns when I am able to. So you can get a sense of the pop culture. You can also get a sense of the fashion, um, what people are talking about, Fresh Prince. Huge deal, huge, enormous deal. Another thing that everybody watched and that had an influence on the culture. And what's interesting is you'll see some people, like Will Smith, who have gone on to continue to be influential. Um, then keep going down. You still see some, sometimes some silly things that don't make sense. I was on here earlier and they had a nice collage of, I don't know, musicians who have been killed or assassinated. And so sometimes, you know, it's like Kurt Cobain and it has an impact at the moment, but you're not quite sure what the longer term impact is. But they also, of course, had a, no, stop doing that, um, picture of Tupac Shakur as well, which had, a, I think, a very large impact on um, especially young people in society. And we're still, we're still talking about him today and his influence and so forth. So, and he's still somewhat controversial. So that might be a good way to get kind of a good thumbnail sketch. Um, so again, you can also do things here at the end. I, I tell you, you can Google phrases like the best year in the 1990s or 1990 and best sports teams, top records. I mean, you can find different ways to narrow it down or most exciting year in the 1990s or something like that. And then you'll get all kinds of opinion pieces and that might also be helpful for you. So I would say that, you know, use a combination of these Wikipedia and encyclopedia type sources, look at the images, just get an idea of, you know, where you might want to focus. And again, there's nothing wrong with, with starting someplace like, oh, I want to pick 1940 because my grandfather was born in that year. Well, that, that's cool. That's a good reason to pick that year. Or that's the year my grandfather, I don't, know, I don't know if we were in the war, but he went off to serve or whatever. Those are good reasons to get you started, but then you need to start kind of broadening and finding more reasons, more things that, that will get you attached and interested in that year because ultimately you will be stuck with it for the whole semester. So please email me if you have any questions and I think I will set up a discussion board too on this landing page and then um, if you're feeling awkward because you don't know me, then you can always look there and see if maybe somebody asked the question there. But really, truly, um, you can ask people in the class who had me before. You, you can always email me and ask me questions. Thank you.